I said that I would have full, extensive coverage and in-depth of previews, predictions, reviews, gameplay concerning WWE TLC. Remember to keep it locked onto this channel because not only today, not only tomorrow, but Sunday and after Sunday, I will be running down the full in-depth previews, predictions, reviews, and everything in between concerning WWE TLC running down every single match. Now for this video, we're going to be talking about the WWE TLC 2014 full pay-per-view analysis and preview. Uh, and also my own, uh, my own opinions and my own thoughts on the overall pay-per-view. Now in the video before this one, I ran down my review of the match card. Now we're going to talk about the pay-per-view as a whole. Kicking it off with the build. Obviously, the build has been less than stellar because, well, there hasn't been enough time. And that's the thing with WWE pay-per-views today. There isn't enough time because the pay-per-view is one after another. Snap, snap, snap. It just seemed like Survivor Series was yesterday. It was only three weeks ago. Like I said, it's a new era. It's a new day. The pay-per-view formats are changing. So, you know what? It, it gives you little time to get invested into these stories. But you've got a, a, a rivalry like Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose that has lasted a couple of months. And it doesn't seem like it's dragging on. And it is compelling and it is intriguing. So the build, I wouldn't say it's been mediocre, but it, it just seems a little rushed. But that's almost every pay-per-view because there are just simply too many pay-per-views. But that's the way the business is, is nowadays accustomed to years ago. So, I mean, but some of the builds, you got to give it credit. It has been strong to a degree. But once again, it just has that rushing moment. Uh, for, for the most part, for this entire pay-per-view, it's a stacked card. Uh, but will it be memorable is my question. Not only is this my analysis and preview of it, but will it be memorable? Will the WWE leave you on the edge of the seat for TLC? Will it, will it be unpredictable? Will someone get busted open or bleed the hard way? You know, with brutal matches such as a table match or a steers match, or you would assume maybe there would be some kind of mistake. Maybe there would be a gash, a scar. Something would have to happen during this pay-per-view. Um... Will, will Randy Orton finally make his return that has been ruined? Will Brock Lesnar or Paul Heyman make their presence known? Maybe even via satellite. Maybe Paul Heyman will come down after the fact that John Cena has won or lost. Will Seth Rollins potentially uh, do something noteworthy or shocking? Although we know he won't be cashing in his money in the bank because Brock Lesnar is nowhere to be found. But just imagine this twist. Imagine if Brock Lesnar did get involved in, the, in this event, and then Lesnar got hit with an, an, an attitude adjustment, and Seth Rollins cashed in his money in the bank. Something crazy like that could happen, but you know what? That would just make things unpredictable, and that would make things awesome, and that's probably something that's not going to happen, and that's just something I'm coming up with. What match will close the show, and what match will open the show, I think is very important to the overall performance of this pay-per-view, and what sets the tone, and if we end the note on a high note, end the night on a high note, excuse me. Um, let's see, if, if matches are given enough time, like the Divas match, I hope we see AJ Lee and Nikki Bella have a lot more time given, at least 10 minutes, especially if this is going to be AJ Lee's final match in WWE. Survivor Series was an incredible effort. It was an awesome pay-per-view, but can the WWE follow through with yet another gimmick pay-per-view? Will the WWE follow up with a strong Monday Night Raw the following night? Because I'll tell you what, Raw really fall, fell short after Survivor Series. Can the WWE bounce back? Will WWE TLC set the tone for 2015 pay-per-views is my question going in. Um... Could we expect to see at least one or two oh my god moments during this TLC pay-per-view extravaganza on the WWE Network? The matches that I expect to steal the show are the TLC match between Wyatt and Ambrose, the table match between Rollins and Cena, and of course, I think what will be very interesting is the ladder match for the Intercontinental title between Dolph Ziggler and Eric Rowan. Excuse me, Luke Hopper. Subscribe.